Hi there. I'd like to share some words of Torah with you about this week's parsha, Parshas Vayetze. The children of Yaakov are born in this week's parsha. Reuven, Shimon, Levi. Leah has a fourth child. Kind of strange, for after all, the Imahos were aware that there would be four wives for Yaakov. Each one of them were meant to produce three children. At least that's what they thought. So they figured, three children? Levi? I'm finished having children, am I not? All of a sudden, she finds she, she is pregnant with her fourth child. She names him Yehuda. Ha-pa'am odes Hashem. This time I will thank Hashem. And the Gemara in Brachas teaches that until Leah, nobody had ever expressed appreciation for God. Kind of strange. Leah was the first person in the world history to thank God, to look up to God and say, Thank you, Hashem. And the way the commentaries explain it, Noah and Avraham, they too thanked Hashem, but she was the first one to do it explicitly. And the reason this cause, the, the reason that this was, this was cause for explicit gratitude was because this is the reboy, Tov. This is beyond all that she ever expected or deserved. How is this relevant to us? What do we expect? What do we deserve? In the I generation, many of us expect everything. We feel entitled. We feel we deserve things. iPad, iPod, iPhone iMac, iTunes, there's all kinds of I's. The Me tablet never really took off. But it's I, 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 I. Why is this? Why do we feel so entitled? That's the consumerism, if you will, of today's day in life. But regardless, nevertheless, the reality is we are not entitled. We don't really deserve anything. Every single breath that we take, we must give thanks to God for it says in Tehillim, and we say it in the Psukit de Zimmer every single morning, I'll call Neshama to Halel Ko, Halleluka. And for every soul, we must praise and thank Hashem. And Chazal explained, I'll call Neshima of Neshima of every breath we take. We should thank Hashem. Why? Because every breath is precious. Every breath is a gift. How do we relate to this? We come to breathe so naturally. And when do we thank Hashem for this? So the Svarim point out, that the reason why Chazal instituted a tefillah of modim is to thank Hashem for all the wondrous things He does for us every single day. We really should be thanking Hashem constantly because without Him we would have no existence. But the reality is you can't live life like that. So therefore three times a day is dedicated to thanking Hashem. So that's how we do it practically. But how do we relate? So there's a story, and it might sound like a shocking story, and I'm not suggesting that you try this at home. But Rabbi Victor Miller was told about him that he filled his sink with water and he stuck his head into the sink and he held his breath and his grandson is the one who tells the story was the one who witnessed and he counts off the seconds 25 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds and finally he comes up gasping for air and he says I'm trying to appreciate every single breath that Hashem has given me because when we're out of breath and we take that one deep breath after being underwater for so long after feeling trapped. And we say, thank you, Hashem, for that breath. When I thank Hashem for that breath, then I can relate it to every other breath. May we indeed be grateful to Hashem for all that He gives us throughout our life. Shabbat Shalom.